Now, who could have possibly guessed that when you make a racial movie about magical black people who have to do everything possible to make white people happy, because if they get uncomfortable, bad things will happen, or like they said in the movie, the most dangerous creature on the planet is white people when they're unhappy, that it would bomb so heavily at the box office that you wouldn't even make back a quarter of the money you spent on it. And then you'd have to pull it from theaters and pray people don't remember it. Well, anyone with half a brain could tell you that, but then Hollywood thought they knew differently and look what happened. Get into this, people, because it is hilarious on the face of it. Report. The American Society of Magical Negroes runs out of magic. Guess mixing in racism and magic doesn't work. Ends pathetic theatrical run three weeks after debut. That's right. They have pulled it from the theaters after only three weeks. That's it. No more, no less. It's just done. After three weeks, they've pulled it. The American Society of Magical Negroes has completely run out of magic as Focus Features makes the decision to pull the film from theaters after a three-week run because audiences simply didn't show up to watch it. I wonder why. Why wouldn't you go and watch this movie? I don't even know if this movie is out in Trinidad where I live. I don't know. I have no interest in finding out and going to see it. Anything like that. From the from the trailer, I was like, oh God, oh, oh, that's flicking stupid. And I moved on with my life. But I mean, come on. While there is no official announcement from the studio, the numbers confirm that the film's last day in theaters was Thursday, the 4th of April, ending its pathetic theatrical run 21 days after the film debuted to overwhelmingly negative reviews. Yep. Overwhelmingly. Let's take a look at the numbers first, right? It ends at 2,480,645 million. That's it. It's done. It made two, a little over two million, and that's it. Maybe, maybe one or two other theaters might kind of try to shoot it somewhere, you know, so it might bring in a little extra thousand here or something. So maybe, but it's pretty much done at this point. Look at this, not good at all. When you go down to its run, it dropped sixty-seven percent from March 15th to March 22nd. And then from March 22nd to March 29th, it dropped 87%. Right? It started off here, yeah, went all the way down there. When you look at these numbers here, right? In its first opening, we get it, then it barely made a million dollars. It just kept going down, 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 all the way to the end. Started off in 1,147 theaters and the end it was in 152. Per theater started off making $457 per theater, ended at $36 per theater. Look at its total gross, like I say, barely struggled to make a million. That's kind of limped along after that. Finally got into finally got to um, two million and just continue dragging along till it reached to the end here. This is an embarrassment for a movie. It's an absolute embarrassment for a movie. But if you think the embarrassment ends there, it doesn't because we now have some numbers for how much this movie cost. From this was from Culture Creve. The American Society of Magical Negroes has been pulled from theaters after only three weeks. Finished with 2.4 million at the box office, 28% score on Rotten Tomatoes, budget estimated to be 15 million. So the estimated budget for this movie, and this is just a production budget we're talking about, and for this movie, that 15 million, right? And it ended 
with 2.4 million. So it, it didn't even make back half its money. It literally was because for the, for the, 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 the budget to be 15 million, this movie would have had to make something like about 30, 32 million to break even. Because, you know, they don't get the, the, the production companies and thing, the, the studios don't get back 100% of the ticket sales. And this is only domestic box office, office numbers that we have here. I don't even know if this movie has been released internationally or what. I, I don't know. I don't care. But it needed to make at least over 30 million to break even. It hasn't even, it hasn't even sniffed that. Godzilla minus one, however, made a shitload of money. I, I think that was the budget for something like about. 9 million or 10 million or something like that. That made a shitload of money. That's what it did. This barely squeezed over 2 million. Yeah, so the American Society of Magical Negroes is an embarrassment. This movie has lost more money than it ever even attempted to get. So when you keep making crap, what do you expect to happen? Really, really pathetic really 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 pathetic not even not, not, not even not even worth talking about i want to say a diff few different things in the talking about the movie here and all kind of thing but the bottom line of it is honestly to go bottom line of it is this movie was a disaster from the get-go because of what they tried to do like I said, you could have made something like a like a black Harry Potter kind of movie. You know, where, where you put it like, you know, black people throughout history, some of them have had magical powers and they have used them to make their lives and the lives of lots of other black people better and do certain things. Like, you know, like I said before, I said, I get that whole thing where, you know, there was whipping Kunta Kinte and he was like, oh no, I did earth. And I had like two thumbs over some white posters on the ground here, riling in pain because the pain is being transferred to you. That would have been funny. Or you could have done it like, you know, um, so kind of Harry Potter-like thing where, you know, he had a, um, he had a owl, he had a owl like a Harry, Potter, Harry Potter and, and the owl was literally, um, literally voiced by like Snoop Dogg. That would be pretty damn cool. You could have made a comedy movie and actually, I think would have actually enjoyed it, but no. When you all keep wanting to push this garbage and add it, act like, you know, everybody needs to love it because you're trying to tell some message about this and some message about that and some message about the other. And you really, you just to realize people don't care. People do not care. People want to be entertained. They don't want your garbage. And the fact that you spent $15 million to make this movie and you're barely, you're even making, you're even making a 2.5. You make it look like, a little over two, that's like 2.4 million, that's what you mean. You haven't even gotten half of your money back. It's an absolute and utter disaster and you deserve it because you made this nonsense. That's what, you made this nonsense, you deserve what you got. That's all. You deserve this nonsense, you deserve to fail like this because you weren't thinking about the fans, you were thinking about pushing your agenda and sending some message and look how magically that failed for you. But there you have it. The American Society of Magical Negroes is a massive flop. They pulled it from the cinemas and they're hoping and praying everyone just forgets about it. Good luck with that, Hollywood. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell to be notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.